Hey, I'm just doing a quick uh, little review, not a review, but just a video on how to theme out your uh, your Android phone. It doesn't really have to be the Nexus like I have here. It can be really any one, but it does have to be something with an ice cream sandwich because of the launcher I'm going to be showing you in this one. This is the white Galaxy Nexus. This is a GSM version, so if you use it with either T-Mobile or AT&T, you'll get a HSPA. But uh, going into the phone here... Um, what I'm using off the bat is, uh, oh shit, I forgot, oh, Nova Launcher. So, the only way to get Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher, they're both the same, um, is to have Ice Cream Sandwich, and, uh, really, I think only this, Skyrocket, um, or basically anything with Ice, ice Cream Sandwich out. So, off the bat, that's what I'm using, uh, when you use it, go into the settings and there's a couple things you're going to change like the desktop under the uh, width margin make sure you put that to small that way uh, like for example this widget right here in fact this one right here fills up from all the way side to side because if you'll notice uh, when you have it on the stock launcher it looks a little smaller it's got uh, like some wiggle room from end to end on each side of the widget it makes it look smaller and more crisp but to me I, I don't know I like it better like this so Going back into here and under desktop, uh, height margin. I didn't mess with that. You don't really need to. Persistent search bar. I like it because I, I I like to Google a lot of stuff. So you can leave that on there. Um, really, all that's that's really the rest is just up to you, like your preference. Uh, look and feel. If you have Nova Launcher before, the new update has it to where you can change the color theme. And the icon theme, you can actually add icon themes on here. The one I'm using is Metro Station. Um, you see how the yellow's on there? I, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I like uh, Metro Station is actually the ones I use to change these icons down here. So going into it, let me find it. Shit, I think I passed it. Uh, there it is. Okay. Um, if you don't have, you can still use this even if you don't have ice cream sandwich, but the way this works is you just tap on it, uh, you can change the color if you want, like, for example, like that, and then whatever color you pick on there, it just saves it on there, under your, um, gallery. So, what I'm using right here, this, I downloaded from the, uh, the market, it's called the Galaxy Nexus Clock, um, this wallpaper is all right. I'm just using it because it's it's blacker. I read on a video that if you use uh, really dark wallpapers, it uses less battery. Um, the way I have the Galaxy Nexus here, tasks there, and settings here is called minimalistic text. Um, that is over right there. And the way that works is, uh, I don't really want to explain that one because there's another guy, I learned that from another guy's video, which I'll post in the link below and I'll tell you at the end of the video. that he'll, He can explain it a whole lot better than I can. But, so the way I did this down here, and he the way I, I got that little, this is my app drawer icon, I got that from a download he also put on his video. His, um, I don't know his name, but his YouTube, uh, channel is called wicked the number four the letter u the letter c well actually number two c well the it, it's called wicked for you to see but after wicked everything's abbreviated by either a letter or a number i'll write it down anyway but um i took a lot of what he's had to say and how he customized his nexus and i implemented it into mine i just got it so i just got three screens i just kind of wanted to show some people because i've been seeing other videos and some people have their home screens looking horrible. Um, I don't like putting applications on the home screens, and that's just because, I mean, you're kind of turning it into an iPhone layout. I think that's the purpose of the app, uh, excuse me, of the uh, app drawer there. Let's, I mean, and unless you got, I got kind of a lot, so. But if you, if you, if you don't have that much, you shouldn't take that long to look for it. Um, well, that's pretty much it. Oh, down here, like I said, uh, the way it's integrated on here, you hit edit, uh, tap on the icon there, and hit icon pack, and it should already integrate Metro Station on there. So that, because I, I know in his video, he's going to show you about desktop visualizer, but with uh, Nova Launcher, you won't need that anymore. 
So, I mean, I, I base these colors off of the actual Nexus icon. So, like, the far right is red, inner green, inner yellow, and outer blue. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much... I'll probably add more screens here and there, a couple widgets. I mean, just keep it simple so the battery life will last and you still get uh, the most out of your phone. The battery life on here is, uh, you know, it, it does suck. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I bought a... A little charging adapter and another battery so I can charge one while I'm using this one. Um, one cool thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if a lot of people don't know this, uh, this website here, the foreshared.com, it actually has a whole lot of APKs that are free. So I haven't paid for any app or widget in the last six months. I've been using that website. Just give them your email address and they'll send you an email you just verify and then you can download all kinds of stuff on here one useful app to have with this phone is uh hang on volume plus right there you hit that you can get from that website i just showed you turn on speeder curve modifications and the volume level um i i put mine on eight i just i forgot to change it earlier but I would put mine on 8, and it sounds louder than what the stock version is, but it doesn't sound distorted, and that's because I, I got that Max Payne game from the actual, that website I just showed you. Again, I didn't have to pay for it, I just downloaded it from the guy. I mean, if you have morals and you're like, oh, I gotta pay for it, then go ahead, but if you don't care, like me, just download it from that website, there's no, no use in wasting money. So, like I said, I downloaded the Max Payne mobile app, I think it's like one ninety nine or two ninety nine. but anyways... Oh, there it is. I got it, and um, when I was playing the game, the sound sounded kind of off, so eight's like a good number to me, I think. Um, other than I'm trying to think what else before I cut this off. Uh, so, like I said, minimalistic text right there in that video that I'm going to uh, write on there is his, again, his name is, well, the YouTube channel is called Wicked for You to See, and everything after Wicked is abbreviated to the letter or the number that it says, and... Um, he he'll basically give you the whole rundown on how to uh how to theme your your uh, nexus but that's you can pretty much use his same style and his same wit apps and widgets on any other ice cream sandwich phone um i did mine like this he doesn't have his like this i did mine like that i thought that was pretty cool on there but uh i think that's pretty much it i just wanted to kind of show people uh you know new ways to just kind of do it on uh, theme out your phone. That's one like, reason why I like Android. I'm always customizing it. One week it'll look like this. Maybe next week it'll look different. It just depends on how I feel. So if you have any questions about what I have on here that I didn't I didn't mention, um, just go ahead and leave a comment and I'll answer you back. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. All right, thanks for watching.